Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. In the third part of building a job board using Django in Vue, I want to make it possible to add jobs to the site using Django admin interface. We are going to build a separate area for the employers to add jobs later, but I will do this first so we can have some jobs available for testing. The first thing I want to do is to create a new Django app for the jobs. I will begin by stopping the web server and creating a new folder. MK there, apps, job. And then I create the actual Django app, python manage.py start app and the name is job and the location is apps slash job. Great, now I can create a basic database model for storing a job. So if I go back to VS Code, open apps, go into job and models.py. I need to connect the jobs to the user who creates them, so I need to import the user model from Django. From Django.contrib.auth.models import user. And then I can create the job model by saying class job pass in models.model. And I want the title field for the job. Title equals models dot char field. This is just a regular text field. Max length is needed for the char field. I can set this to 255. I want the short description. It's like a intro text. Models dot text field. And I want a long description as well. Models dot text field. I can allow the user to set this to blank. So then I need to say blank equals true and null equals true. So now it can be empty. And then I want the field for referencing the user. This is created by equals models dot foreign key. And then I pass in the user model. To create an index in the database, I say related name equals jobs. This makes it really easy to get all the jobs that the user has created. If a user is created, I need to call this on delete method so we can delete all the jobs as well. Models.cascade. So when we delete the user, all of the jobs connected to that user will also be deleted. And then I want the field for saying when the job was created, models dot date time field, auto now add equals true. So this is automatically be filled when we add a new job to the database. Also want the field for changed at models dot date time field, auto now equals true. So every time we are saving this, editing and similar, this will be automatically updated. The model doesn't have that the model doesn't have to be any more complicated than this for now. I will add many more fields during this series. Okay, so I can save now and then I need to register this app with Django before we update the database. So go into settings.py and append apps.job at the bottom here and save. So then I can go to the command line and run python manage.py make migrations. This will update the database. Python manage.py migrate and this will run the actual update script. Okay, before I start the server again, I want to create a user who can access the admin area. I do this by saying python manage.py create super user username admin admin at codingjobs.com and then my password hit enter yes i want to bypass because my password was too similar great so now i can run the server and log into the admin interface python managed by run server can copy this address, go to the browser, 
and then append slash admin at the end. And then I can log in with the user we just created. As you can see here, we can't see the job model we created. This is because we need to register the models with the admin interface. So let's go back to VS Code and fix that. All of the apps has the admin.py file. This is where we register it with the admin interface. First, I need to import the job model from dot models import job. I can say dot models because I'm in the same folder as the fo models file. I could also say apps dot job dot models if I wanted to, but this is better. And then as an admin dot site register job and save. So if I go back now, refresh, I have a new job here. Perfect. So I can try to add a new job. Title job one. This is the short description. This is the long description. And it's created by code with Stein. So I can save. And I can create one more. Job two. Short desk. A very long desk. This can also be created by code with time and save. As you can see here, this name doesn't make any sense. This is just an object representation of a job. You can change this to show the title instead by going back to models.py and create a string representation of the class by saying def str pass in self because it's a class and then I just say return self.title and save. So if I refresh now, we see the title instead. So that's much more easy to see. Since you now I have some jobs in the database, maybe we should show it on the front page of coding jobs. Let's go to the views.py file inside the core app. And then here I need to import the job model from apps dot job dot models import job and then inside here I want to get three jobs if there were three jobs we just have two for now jobs equals job dot objects dot all and then I use this list function from Django to get them and to make it possible to see this on the front end I need to append this here just like we did with the form so jobs and pass in the jobs and save. And then I can go to the templates and front page.html and remove this title. Create a new title h2 class subtitle has text centered newest jobs. Then I create a columns div. So I can have them next to each other for job in jobs div class column is four, so it's one third of the screen. Div class card div class card content div class media many divs. Div class media content p class title is four. This is the size of this of the title job dot title. And below here, I want to show the short description. Below here, I want to show the date when it was added. Class subtitle is six. Job dot created at and below the media, create a new div class content. Here I want to show job dot short description. And then we just close the end for loop and save. So this will loop through all of the jobs we got from the database.
perfect so you can save this go to the browser to see what it looks like refresh so we have the title newest jobs and these two before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below so i see we don't see the short description why is that show description okay that was wrong short description so I can stop the server, update the database. Did you rename? Yes. And then run migrate again. Run the server. Refresh. And now we see the short description. Perfect. I can also make it possible for to view the detailed view of the job. I want the template and view for this to be located in the job app. So let's begin with the template. First, I create a new folder, templates, and a folder inside there, job. And then I can create a template file, job detail.html. And then I want this to extend the base template as well. Extends, base, no core slash base.html block content here I want to show a title h1 class title and I show job dot title then I want a little bit bigger or smaller text for the short description class is size 4 job dot short description below here again I want to show job long description and then we can just close the block and block and save so to render this we need the view this is supposed to be in job slash views.py First, I import the job model from dot models import job. Then I create a def job detail. This is the name of the view request. And here we're also going to need a job ID. This is an integer we are going to get from the urls.py file. Job equals job dot object dot get pk equals job ID. PK stands for primary key and is the ID in our case. Then we return render request pass in job slash job detail dot HTML. Then we pass in the job which makes it possible to use it here and save. So then I can go to coding job slash URLs and import this view from apps.job.views import job detail and I can append it at the bottom here path jobs slash int job ID this name refers to this job ID and I set integer here because we want integer. Pass in the job detail view and give it a name job detail. And save. And then last but not least we need to change the front page so we can have a link to the job detail page. So inside here we create the, oh, the HR for a line. A href use the URL function again, pass in job detail and to pass in the job ID and just say job.id view. So this job.id goes here and then it's passed into here again, which we use to get the job. So save and I can refresh. Now I have a view link here. If I click it, 
Okay, I did something wrong in the job detail. Refresh, this is the long description. Short description, sorry, typo. Refresh, and now we see the detail view of a job. This needs to look a lot more pretty, but I'm not going to fix that in this episode. So that was it for this episode. And if you like this video, please click like below and share it with your friends. See you next time.